Right, I'm sure most people, the beekeepers, are struggling with wax and cleaning it and refining it and be able to reuse it. Uh, as I myself, until I perfected this particular method using a slow cooker, uh, comprising the cogs of the cooker, the ceramic dish, and the first baked lid. Right, the process is this. We start off with the cooker and we use a cloth a honey strain cloth obtainable from any beekeeping establishments. Place it over the ceramic dish, pulling the ties through. Now we'll load this wax into the dish as follows. Hmm. Better than that, hopefully. At this point we pour in a litre of water, wetting the cloth as we do so. We then place the perspex lid on the top, pulling the cords through to ensure the cloth stays away from the hothouse size of the slow cook, slow cooker. Then put the dish, the rope onto the top. Obviously we can't, it would be a good idea not to walk away from this and go away for a few hours in case of fire. But it should be okay at this. We can then switch on. We now have to wait until it all melts. Okay, two hours have elapsed now and it's uh, nicely melted. So we need to uh, basically remove it from the heat from the cooker. Uh, this is still fairly cool even now, it's been on for three hours. You can still touch it without problems. Remove the uh, perspex dish from it. Now we need carefully to collect the cloth. This is a bit tricky <laughs> without spilling the uh, debris into the container like so and remove but you can see the wax is very liquid the way now of completing the process is to put the wire over the ceramic dish Put the cloth back onto the wire and place the lid to enable the heat from within to melt the wax as best it can. We now need to wait until it uh, all sets and cools down. And now for the final part of the operation, remove the debris which is now solidified on the wire. And now, the wax. <laughs> there we are. A piece of solidified beeswax that can be now traded into all replacement foundation. And that's about it. Thanks very much for your time and patience. Bye bye.